Hey, Henry here from Cascade, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be having a look at how to juggle four balls. So this is a step up from three balls, but it's not too tricky. If you can do two balls in one hand, and you can do that on both hands, then you'll be able to juggle four balls. There's a few tips and tricks that we're gonna go through in the video, and hopefully get you juggling four balls in no time. So this is what four ball juggling looks like. Cool, so one of the things that uh, is a kind of misconception is that the balls are crossing over. So a lot of people think that the balls are crossing over, but when we're using two separate colors like this, you can actually see the orange are all staying in my right hand and the blue are all staying in the left hand. So they're not crossing over at all. You're just doing two in either hand. You can get into a little bit of crossing and stuff later on uh, if you want to mess around with some non-continuous juggling. But just to start with, we're going to practice doing two in either hand. So I'm not going to go over it with too much detail. In this video, we do have another video if you want to have a look at how to juggle two balls. But I'll just go over quickly the basics, recap it. So you've got two balls in one hand. One wants to be sitting in front of the other on the palm like this. You're going to throw the one at the tips of your fingers first. And when that one's up in the air, then you're going to throw the other one. And there's several ways you can do this. I like to go from inside to the outside. So a slight inside to outside throw. And you should be trying to remain with the hand in the same position. So your hand's not moving left or right, it's staying in the same position. And the balls are doing slight ellipses in the air. So there's two styles to start off with in four ball. There's synchronized and asynchronized. The so synchronized is where the balls are both leaving your hands at the same time. And then you've got async where they're alternating. So this one feels a little bit like a three ball pattern speed. Um, and they're both fine ways of learning. I found it much easier to learn the asynchronized way, but I know a lot of people find it easier to learn the synchronized way. So we're gonna have a look at synchronized first. So with this one, um, you don't wanna be focusing on your right or left hand. You wanna be focusing down on the middle ground. So you're just kind of looking into the middle distance as you would with three ball juggling. You're not focusing on any specific ball and you're trying to keep the throws and catches in the same time. So this one, you're gonna be trying to get the throws about the same height and timing it. So that your throws are keep going in the same pattern. What you might find to start with is that your left hand throws or your weaker hand throws are going much shorter than your right hand throws. So you might find that you're ending up with the right ball going a lot higher than the left hand ball. And just try and focus then, if you're, if you're finding that's happening, put a bit more of your focus onto your left hand. So just be thinking about that a bit more. Hopefully at this point, you'd be able to juggle really comfortably two balls in your more dominant hand and focus on your less dominant hand and just be thinking about that one more and thinking about trying to throw it a little bit higher. So where you're trying to aim for just a little bit above head height, about the same height as three balls and nice steady throws. You're not trying to go too fast and try to keep your elbows in so they're not going out to the sides at all and then just keep practicing that until you're nice and comfortable. So let's have a look at asynchronized now. So that's where the throws are alternating. So you want to start off with the ball in your right hand, the first ball in your right hand, that's gonna be launched first. And shortly after that one, then you're gonna go with your left hand. So it's right, left, right, left. And you should find the pattern is about the same speed as three ball juggling, perhaps slightly faster. The key to this one again though, is trying to get the balls to throw about to, to about the same height because if one's going much shorter, if the left hand is doing much shorter throws than the right hand, you're gonna find that they're kind of catching up with each other and then spacing out and then catching up and then spacing out. So you're trying to keep the pattern really nice and smooth so that it's always right, left, right, left. So focus on trying to get them just a little bit of head height, right first, left first, and I would build this up. So I would do like, try and do four throws to start with, then six, then eight, and just try and build it up and see how far you can go. And if you drop, go back to the start and build it up again. So if you find that your throws are coming in and meeting each other in the middle and they're not staying nicely in their own columns, what you might want to do is just try tilting your wrists slightly outwards. So I'd find this is more applicable to my left wrist than my right wrist, but try not to have them um, tilted inwards at all, tilted straight upwards. So hopefully you can practice the synchronize and the asynchronize until you're really comfortable doing those. And once you've got those down, then I'm just gonna go run through a couple of ideas that you can do 
uh, further, to take this further once you're comfortable with the four ball. So I'm just going to run through a few different tricks that you could do. So hopefully you found that useful. Four ball juggling is one of my favorite things to do. Uh, there's so many possibilities. Once you've got the basics down, you can just experiment and go crazy with it. So if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. If you'd like to pick up juggling balls, uh, there's a link down in the description below for those as well. That's it for today though. See you in the next one.